Kowang is the traditional name for the north side of the river at Bensdale. Kowang is the echidna. Once the country was dry and there was no water, everyone was desperate for water except Kowang. Everyone thought Kowang must have some water, but Kowang said he didn't. Bimbatara followed Kowang but couldn't find his water. Everyone asked Tidalik to follow Kowan. Tidalik saw Kowan lift up a big rock and saw the water Kowan has hidden. Everyone found the water Tidalik told them about. So they threw Kowan into the spiky bushes for being greedy. He got covered in spikes. That's why he has spikes. That's... Um part of us, you know, we, we're taught not to take more than we need. Um, mm -hmm. And that's part of our Aboriginal upbringing. Don't take too much of the fish stock. Don't take too much because there's always other people that would come behind. Nomadic life we lived. We travelled a lot. There were always another clan group, same clan group coming behind us. So it was important that there was something left. And they would then do the same for others. The water is very important. And I suppose it's important to everyone now today. Um, but it's always been the very core of our existence. The water. Well, most, most water corporations that have entitlements already store their water. They've built dams. They have their storages. This is our storage. Um, and, and all that aligns with healing country. We, we have a different view on um, how waterways should be managed um, based around plants and animals that need it to survive, um, based around our heritage which is on a, a lot of waterways have, have our heritage on them. Traditional owners, we're not the first in line with the bucket. We're way down behind everyone else. So we're not even considered most of the time or all the time. And we, we need to change that. The rivers that flow on Gunai Kurnai country, we believe belong to Gunai Kurnai people and should then have a huge say on who gets what and how. We should be the first people invited to the table. But in most cases, and we will change that as we go. It's, it's a process that we will be going through and we're going through now. And we want to change that because we, we think that we can look after the rivers better. And you have a look at some of the rivers that, that have irrigation. It's all mud. It's full of carp. That's not what we're about. We used to be able to drink out of that, our people. We may never go back to that, but we just want a larger say on how things work in our country. I don't know, I don't know if we're taken seriously by governments, and we should be. The water is so important to us, as to everyone, as I've said. But from our view, we want more to say. And we want to be first in line with the bucket. What we've been fundamentally trying to do is do our activism in a way that is respectful, not confrontational, but through the, writ, writ, the written word, good sound uh, policy direction from our board of directors by listening to our elders around what they wanted uh, through, their, through our whole country plan. And it's working hard to achieve what they want through a collegiate approach with our staff, our members, our partner agencies to get this back on the books.